they're busy paddling to shore, let's get on with our incredible and frankly mind-boggling selection of idiots on boats caught on camera. If you're excited, hit that subscribe button and let's start our long voyage. Why pay for a sea tow when you have the teens who burned up the fuel? A drink of Red Bull taking effect. He is probably the type of guy who doesn't take off the plastic from new electronics so they won't get scratched. When you have just enough money to buy a yacht with no fenders. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Hmm. If only there was water around to put out that fire. actually expect that was gonna work? It's not even a boat! It's a Tupperware with shovels for paddles. I have never wished for a sandbar to appear so bad in my life. Look at that tree. Some are just too rich to hire tree cutters, so they buy a powerboat instead. That Plot twist, he's moving his trailer to another truck across the bay. Ever wondered what it's like at the craziest port in the world? Feast your eyes on this. I guess that was the most they could tilt the vessel, huh? didn't pay attention to them, because the shout should have been, YO HO! When your buddy drives his watercraft like he has extra lives. Bro, one boat ain't enough, I want two! Is this a case of overloading or forgetting to put the plug in? You be the judge. A cargo barge hit the Rainbow Bridge in Novi Sad, Serbia. From the footage, the captain's steering looked erratic, drifting in place until it hit the pillar. Davy Jones is happy to know that another sailor is about to join his crew. Bro is too drunk. He thinks he's steering with the motor up. Notice how the roof changed? That's the sign of a pleasure boater. There's one rule on this boat. In case of emergency, the captain leaves first. This guy is probably a little bit too hydrated to get off. En route from China to the US, the one Apis experienced horror. 
Gale force winds and large swells accounted for over 1,800 lost containers. When your drift move doesn't work as planned, They embarrassed every Texan with their navigation skills. No wonder he went bald. His boat must experience ramp problems frequently. Professional diver and surfer Mark Healy often makes good calls. One of the times that he didn't was when he dived because he thought the boat was going to capsize. The right idea is to touch our like button, and not a tanker if you're a fan of ships. Watch your heads, but more importantly, please use them. A few people out there still think that they can stop a yacht with their bare hands. These boat thieves sailed to the mouth of the Columbia River, where even the Coast Guard wouldn't dare at this time of year. Uh, hi ma'am, how's it hanging? Is anyone asking for a weight reality check? How to turn your boat into a giant water scoop. This Coast Guard vessel met its untimely end when it got a bit too close to the bow of bolt carrier Tolunai. It experienced suction and was sunk in seconds. His little vessel is aspiring to be a full-fledged icebreaker when it grows up. Hmm. I think autopilot boats are still far from reality. Here's the look of a yacht captain who has no care for the rest of humanity. Despite knowing of an incoming squall, the crew of MSC Musica did not double the moorings. The liner broke free and initiated evacuation. As cruise ships keep getting bigger, the tug life keeps getting harder. Sometimes docks are the problems that rich fools have to deal with. The power of Hurricane Katrina was shown after it left. 30 to 50 foot yachts were sitting where they shouldn't be. There's Captain Tony's. Those ladies ain't leaving their drinks, that's for sure. He 
does not like the military at all. Bro knows his priorities. Didn't save his butt, but he saved the beer. Give that tug a medal for doing its job so well. They really don't know the definition of passenger limits, do they? No wonder there's a feud between wake boats and fishermen. Never thought I'd say this in a boat video, but you gotta stick your landing. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. It's good practice to aim the pointy part towards the waves, not the sides. Uh, boss, someone didn't scrap those cushions again. It's not difficult to miss a mangrove forest covering hundreds of acres, but some skippers still manage to do that. This old man has no sense of personal boating space. It's the perfect time to invest in bow fenders. Or boat training. This happened at the World Powerboat Championship at Abu Dhabi Breakwater. Literally a break on water. He hit everything except the trailer bunks. Hey! Hey, you can't park there! You can't park there! <laughs> I didn't know the Titanic was made by Disney. It's all fun and games until a big wave comes along. Those sailors are basically a multi-million dollar wrecking crew. I wouldn't trust them with tying shoelaces at this point. Looks like he already destroyed his bimini top. Now it's time for the hole. when a skipper loves to add thrill by riding wakes. <laughs> Boss, we have a slight problem. Unloading didn't go exactly as planned. It seems like those cranes were interfering, so the captain tried to take them down. No wonder reefs are dying. People are leaving their yachts leaking like this. Luckily, other humans bite back. Here's RV Dolphin for the reefs. It looks like he actually baited the other into bumping the stern. Here comes another jet ski wannabe.
two barges broke on the Arkansas River after historic flooding. They struck the dam in unison and released over 3,800 pounds of fertilizer. Well, there goes our car shipment. when underway replenishment goes wrong. Tell me you rented a family boat without actually saying it. The weather took two things that day, the possibility for control and that poor guy's hat. Either he's drunk, or he's still in the process of learning. Oh my gosh. No one got injured when this 3,000-ton ferry crashed at a dock in Petersburg, Alaska but it proved to be a very effective battering ram. Like me, it was tired of life and just wanted to beach itself. Everything about their docking says it's a rental. Nothing but a good old hit and run. The reason cruise ship accidents are common is they don't want assist tugs. Companies claim that docking is more majestic on their own. In most cases. Well, somebody forgot to put the plug in on launch. With great power comes great responsibility. This saying also applies to watercraft. No matter how skilled Ultramar captains are, it was simply a bad trip to Cozumel. The leading cause of ship accidents? The human factor. And here's where we'll dock our idiots on boats caught on camera. Which among these shown was your favorite boating fail? Tell us down in the comments and subscribe for more great content. Keep watching more amazing clips by clicking on one of the boxes on screen. Thanks!